we are now on the road to 200 subscribers. So be sure to subscribe and leave a like because I make NBA content just like this every single day. So there, there's your reason right there. Here we are. 2019-2020 NBA season. And apparently we're coming off the lock the lockers. Yeah, we're coming off the lockers, everyone. Coming off the bus and I'm in a brown shirt. If you're new here, subscribe and make content every day. Here right now, why is why do they have like no life in their face? Like they have no facial movements whatsoever. Especially Bam. He looks like a damn zombie. But whatever the case is, let, let's hit two. Just two, just two people watching this. Hit the like button and it will be Gucci. Now, in the first game, you should already know this by now. You don't actually play. It's very weird. Uh, one of the players on your team just hits a random game winner. I don't know. There's no cutscenes, nothing. He just hits a game winner. So it looks like Goran's going to hit the game winner for us. Goran Josh. It would have been cool if it was Dion. But Goran Josh for the game. I don't think. Damn, yo. Okay, Valanchunas. Just popped up. Why wasn't Jimmy on the court? Was Jimmy not on the court? Also, this is, why is Goran wearing number two? Is there something we don't know about? Goran should not be wearing number two. Yeah, Jimmy was on the bench. I don't get why Drogic is wearing number two. He doesn't make sense. No one's wearing number seven on the Heat. Who's the guy that think he's a Timberwolves fan? What are you booing me for? I'd love to insult him, but I'm just going to ignore him. Now, we get into the actual action. A real first NBA game. As you can see, I did play four games after that first game. I played four games on my own. I did record the Bucks game, but apparently it didn't save. It got, like, corrupt. I don't know. 2K has been stupid. Uh, you, I would finish a game, and all of a sudden I get disconnected and have to play the game all over again. It's pretty damn annoying. Very annoying, actually. But we're going to get to Houston Rockets, as you can see. Yeah, I only won one game out of the four I played because, as you can see, I'm only getting six minutes in that Bucks game. Only got 11 minutes in this Timberwolves game as I dropped 27. And the, both these games against the Hawks, they got 12 minutes. Won one game and lost the other. So, this game I played good, but the one we lost, I didn't play very good. 6 for 14, 17 points. Yeah, not, not the greatest, but still 12 minutes. I think I'm going to get around 13 or 14 minutes against this Rockets team, so... That should that should be interesting. Let's get it. Oh, as um, let me just show you my progression real quick. 86 overall. I have seven actually upgrades. Uh, I don't have enough VC to upgrade it now, but after this game, I I definitely should have enough after this game to upgrade. Yeah, especially if I do it all on perimeter defense. Because if you didn't know, in garbage 2K20, defense is very important. That's yeah, defense is very important in this game. Very very important. But let's hop into the game against the Houston Rockets. And, of course, 2K's got to have their little sponsorship over here. Westbrook didn't even have his dread, so that's how you know this was, you know, before he joined the Rockets. But this is one thing I love, the presentation. It reminds me of um, NBA on TNT, the presentation, and I love it. The, they they took a step up of presentation this year. I, it's amazing. But, if you didn't know, yesterday, last night, hashtag Fix2K20 was number two twen trending was number two trending in the United States yesterday. Yes, number two. Almost got to number one, but it was number two. By the way, if you're not following me on Twitter, be sure to follow me because I post a lot of updates there. Also, let me know in the comments, what time would you like me to upload? I'm probably going to be uploading this video at like 3 o'clock Eastern Time, PM. But nonetheless, if you haven't left a like, leave a like now. Uh, okay, I didn't know what to say there, but Kelly Olenek's getting a green bean over there. I'm getting an assist. Clint Capella, another re um pa Bob. I can't speak today. Another problem with this game is offensive rebounds are way too overpowered. If you don't have a dominant center on your team, you're not getting any offensive rebounds or defensive rebounds. But Gerald Green with the steal gives it up to Westbrook. I left him open because you know it's Westbrook, but he drained it. I love Westbrook in real life, but come on, 2K. He ain't drained. I hope he works on his jump shot. I hope he's draining those with the Rockets. But that's not going to happen. And I turn the ball over. This is great. I'm open. First shot of the game that wasn't free throws. Let's get it. Up by two, actually. So I'm in the game. We're winning. That's probably a, one of the most cheesiest thing of screens in this game. Last year, it was pick and rolls. This year, 
It's just moving mid ranges. Also, if you didn't know, they got rid of the system where if you hit L1 or LB, it pops up the little icons. You can ask any player on the team for a screen. Why did they get rid of that? It's now a little menu. You can't call for certain players for screens anymore. You can only call for the center and power forward. Why, 2K? Why would you get rid of that feature? Maybe it's maybe it's a different button. Maybe it's like hidden or something. Myers Leonard, I had to force him to shoot. I don't know why he won't shoot. But, like, I'm going to try to look it up. But I don't get why they would get rid of that feature. That's such a good feature. I try to do it all the time because I want to get Jimmy Butler more points. He's only dropping, like, 10 to 12 points a game. I want to get Jimmy Butler more involved. I want to get more assists. I can't get all these assists just giving the ball to the centers who can't shoot or do anything. If I give the ball, I would have to wait till the shot clock's over if I wanted to get my assist up. So I'm hoping they either add that back or maybe it's in the game. It's just under a different button layout. I don't know. But back to the game here. End of the second quarter. We got 15 seconds left. If you are enjoying the video, please leave a like if you've made it to this part because watch time is very bad on these videos. But if you have made it, leave a like and comment down below if you have so I know who the real OGs are. But James Harden. Missing that, we're down by 11 at halftime. Not what I was expecting, but I don't get many minutes. Then I got subbed in. Down by 15. What happened? Myers Leonard wide open. Clank, brick house. Dude could be building so many houses right now. But I'm guarding Eric Gordon right now. Uh, He missing. Yeah, he ain't hitting that shot. Uh, James Jones, James Jones, <laughs> James Johnson running on the floor, and I missed the layup, but James Johnson gets the rebound and doesn't get the end one. I'm down the court, running, I'm running, Eric Gordon get on my way, he didn't even try to contest it. I got us to an 11 point game, I can get us to single digits, then they subbed me out. They scored 12 straight points while I was subbed out. Unbelievable. They went on a 12-0 run. Then they didn't play me in the fourth quarter. We lost by 24. I got into an 11-point game, and we lost by 24 because they refused to play me. I have played now, in real life, 11 games, and I have yet to be starting. Apparently, it takes 30 games to start. You have to play 30 games in order to start. Are you kidding me? That better be fake. If I get to the 15-game mark, and I'm not starting, I am going to riot. Because I am not sitting on the bench for 30 games. That is just absolutely ridiculous. Here we go. My shoe endorsement. It's going to say Jordan because I took it from Chris Moo's video. So. Take a seat. Take a seat, fellas. Yeah, Let's right, talk. Cool. Yeah. So I want you to meet Don, the rep from Jordan. Big fan of yours, Che. It's really great to meet you. Oh, thanks, man. I'm excited to be here with you. I think it's safe to say we're all excited about potentially working together. Yeah. Absolutely. So what do you say we just jump right in, start talking contracts? Yeah, let's do it. Works for me. Let's do it. All right, negotiation time. Sorry I said Jordan, but obviously I can't record the actual audio from the game because 2K is stupid. But I just took it from Chris Moo's video. Shout out to him. He didn't let me use it, but I don't think it's a big deal. But they want to give us zero incentives, 9% discount. Hell no, I don't need your discount. I already have free shoes. So I'm going to up the VC just a, just a teeny bit, maybe three incentives. That's much more than... Okay, sir. Well, then. One point... I don't want a score discount. I'm two incentives, zero score discount. Zero store discount, 150. I'll do this. We're spinning our wheels now. Here's our final offer. Two incentives. All right, I'm fine with this. This is This is fine. Two incentives. I don't really need the VC. I get over a thousand a game. Uh, ooh, these are different from last year. What the hell? I guess we'll do fast break and limitless three since those are probably the best things I'm good at. Pretty painless, huh? For you, maybe. But I gotta justify these numbers to my bosses. Don, that is no way to treat your new star. <laughs> Look, man. You know I'm just playing, right? Nothing but love over here. Seriously, Che, we are really excited to bring you into the Jordan family, and we think this uh, partnership's got a great future. I appreciate that. First of all, I'd like to thank all of you for joining us today. You know, whenever you get an athlete of Che's caliber to join your team, that's a reason to celebrate. And the Jordan team is thrilled to have him on board. All right, I know you all want to talk to him, so we'll get right to it and toss it to Che for questions. Ted the man, what's up? Congrats on the new deal, Che. 
So what's it mean to sign a deal like that at this stage of your career? You know, Ted, it's pretty awesome. You know, growing up playing basketball, that was always a big dream, being repped by a, a shoe company. So it's a real thrill. Okay, I'll take another question. Vinny, what's up? Now that you got all that shoe deal money, you planning on splurging a little? Oh, splurging, I don't know about all that, man. You know, I don't want to be one of those guys who wastes all his money before he retires. You know, I got a long career ahead of me, hopefully, but nothing's guaranteed in this league. You know what, maybe after I retire and it's all over, I'll splurge a little, but for now, it's all about ball. All right, we got time for one more question. Patty. Any plans to release a signature shoe? I mean, that's the goal, yeah? I believe in myself, so why shouldn't I believe I deserve my own shoe? All right, that's all the time we have questions for. I want to thank everybody for attending, and of course to Che, too, for being so kind to give us a few minutes during his busy schedule. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate it. All right, all right leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you are new. We're now in the NBA. We're going to be on this grind, winning that championship. Let's go. Finally, we're done with the prelude. GG. G.